Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at elementary OS. So we are currently on the install screen so let's go ahead and get it installed so we can uh, check out elementary OS. Select keyboard layout English US. Alright, looks like we're uh, prompted with three options here. Try demo mode, erase disk and install, and custom install, advanced. So I'm just going to go with erase disk and install. Before installing, some parts of elementary OS 7.1 Horus may run slowly, freeze, or not function properly. So it recognizes that I'm installing a virtual machine, so it's telling me uh, that there may be some issues. Well, install anyway. All right, encrypt, nope, don't need encryption. Additional drivers, I'll go ahead and include third-party drivers. And erase and install. So it's uh, currently installing now. So uh, normally this takes between five and 10 minutes. So uh, I'll go ahead and pause the video now. And when I come back, we should be uh, fully installed. Okay, we're back now. Elementary OS has finished installing. So let's go ahead and uh, restart so we can boot into the system. All right, we are rebooted. So uh, I don't know, it's asking me to select keyboard layout again. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, oh yeah, I never did answer uh, user info. So I guess we do that now. Okay, now we are fully rebooted and we are welcomed by the welcome screen. So let's go ahead and take a look at the welcome screen and see what elementary OS has to offer. You choose your look. So here, right now it's set on default. If I want to set it to dark mode, I could just set it to dark mode now. Or sunset to sunrise. I guess sunset to sunrise is a mode where in the daytime hours it's on default mode and at the nighttime hours it changes into dark mode. But I'm just going to set it to dark mode because that's the way I like it. And my accent colors, I'll just put it on that. That works for me. Let me see what this does. Nothing. I'll just go there. Night light. Make the colors of a display warmer at night to help prevent eye strain and sleep sleeplessness. Housekeeping. Download files. Downloaded files. Old temporary files. Screenshot files. Online accounts. I'm not going to connect any online accounts. I never do get some apps here you can open up your app store or side load apps from alternate app stores like flathead automatic updates free and paid apps I'm not sure what the free and paid apps are I guess elementary OS has a section for ready to go enjoy using an inventory os you can always visit system settings and set up hardware or change your preference all right so that was our welcome screen uh, from here we have our panel that's uh on the top it's on the top of the system so it's a top panel and on the upper right hand side of the system tray we have our uh session manager we can log out lock screen suspend and shut down 
So next to that, we have our software update manager. And next to that, we can uh, set up our network settings. And also here, we can put it in airplane mode. Then next to that, we have our uh, volume settings. Here you can control your music player, your volume rocker, and you can even go to sound settings. And then you can also set up your uh, night light settings. So your, uh, for your PM hours, kind of uh, adds warm colors to your screen. That way it doesn't bother you. Then in the middle, we have our uh, clock, which uh, displays a date also. And clicking on it shows you a calendar. Here you can set up events and uh, you can also edit your date and time settings. And then on the upper left hand corner, we have our application launcher or menu launcher. And here are our applications. Uh, you can also search right here for applications. Let's say for example, GIMP. It doesn't have GIMP, but it tells you that you can install GIMP in the App Center. And you can change the list view, the icon view, and the applications. That way you can turn it into more of a regular menu system. Or you can go back to the icon view. Whatever floats your boat, it's all right here. Then on the bottom we have a dock. And on our dock we have some uh, applications that are docked of course we have our app center system settings photos image viewer videos video viewer music music player calendar calendar tasks i guess it's uh i'm not, I'm not sure what task is but we got mail web browser file manager and multitask view. So let's start with our app center. This is our app center here for elementary OS. And let's see if we can get a version on it. All right, so that's your app center. Let's see, do they have a terminal? Yes, they do. Okay, so I found GIMP just by using apps, but I don't understand why uh, they wouldn't have it. Now, let's see uh, LibreOffice. Xtop, Neo, Fetch. I'll install all these all at once. All right, I'll go ahead and let these install. While that's doing that, I'll look at some more uh, settings right here. System settings. Let's see what we got for system settings. Applications, desktop, language, uh, displays. Yeah, well, right here, you can basically, uh, all the functions to get the system working right. You can set up user accounts, universal access, system. Pretty much get into the guts of your system and uh, change things around to your liking. This is your uh, system settings. Yeah, and one thing I'm noticing about uh, all these apps, I'm not getting the option to uh, to the view the about info on anything. Maybe we're opening the regular apps might do that, but so far I haven't seen anything. All right, next to the system settings, we have photos. Photos is the image viewer. Uh, I, I'm guessing it's just called photos. I mean, if there's no, uh, if there's no about or anything. Let's see, click on preferences. Yeah, I guess it's just called photos. So photos is a photo viewer. If you had any photos you wanted to view, you would just navigate to them wherever they are in your system and uh, you read your photos right here and that's photos 
Uh, next to that, we have uh, a video player, which you know, I'm assuming is just called video, videos. Yeah, it's just a simple video player. Click on open a file, navigate to your videos, and open them there. And I'm just, the music player, I'm guessing it's gonna be the same thing, so. Yeah, it looks like it's the same thing. You just, uh, but how do you navigate to your music? That's the question. Does it just automatically detect the music on your system? Because it should be a spot to where you can, uh, where you can uh, navigate to your music. But I don't see that here. Yeah, elementary OS. It's a lot of, it's looking like a lot of bloat at the moment. Let me see, I'm just right clicking on places just to see if maybe it'll, uh, maybe it'll uh, open up an option to navigate to music. No, it doesn't. All right. Calendar, simple calendar, set up events. All right, pretty straightforward. <laughs> Tasks. Is this like a schedule monitor, a scheduling system? Uh, let's see. New task, add task. So, new task. Set do on the twenty second. All right, set location. Okay, I'll just go ahead and delete that task. Let me see. Yeah, none of these apps have a uh, an about. So we're just gonna move along. Let's see what our mail reader is. Connect an account. Mail uses email accounts configured in system settings. And that's pretty much all the info we have. Web browser. They don't they even use their own web browser, which is all right. Let's try to open up a blank page. Welcome to the web. Start browsing. website what's new in elementary OS 7.1 made with care with you in mind OS 7.1 provides new personalization options that make it more inclusive and accessible protects your privacy and ensures apps always operate with your explicit consent and addresses your feedback with over 200 bug fixes design changes and new features Right now we're on version 7.1. Coming up is going to be version 8.0. And I guess the developer is Daniel Fiore. Hope I'm pronouncing that okay. If not, then should have added in the about. <laughs> All right, that's your web browser, which is I'm not sure what web browser it is because uh, there's no. Uh, let me click on this. See what it uh, You know what? I'm not even gonna look for about anymore. All right. Now your file manager, simple uh, file manager. If you see one, you see them all. This is your file manager layout. If you want to change the layout, you can uh, set it to grid view, icon view. Oh, that's icon view that's list view and this is like a list view also but with icons ah i'm at a loss here elementary os has me all screwed up now <laughs> and uh this is to uh what did i just click on okay multitasking view so if i click on this well, it just opens up your 
Your desktops? Is that what it is? All right. So, uh, looks like everything's installed here. So let's just go ahead and check out uh, each top. And that there. Wow, the colors are kind of off, but let me highlight it. No, oh, I can't even highlight it. It's like a highlight down here, but I can highlight up here. Well, it says 1.4 gigabytes out of four gigabytes of RAM that it's using. All right, that's um, HTOP. Let's check out uh, Neo Fetch. And we're running Elementary OS 7.1, Kernel is 6.2. The desktop environment is called Pantheon, so we're on the Pantheon desktop. All right, that's good. Uh, let's see, what did we install? We installed uh, LibreOffice. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right, LibreOffice, pretty standard and common. Uh, you get your writer document, calc, compress, draw, math, and your base system and let's see what a uh, version they're running looks like version 7.3.7.2 that's your version of LibreOffice all right and then in our graphics we should have GIMP there it is should be at 2.10 This is GIMP, and about GIMP is uh, GIMP 2.10.30. All right, GIMP, you're updated. All right, I'm done with elementary OS. So, uh, this is something that uh, you like and you want to get into. Hey, I'll have all the information in the description below. Have a link to the home page, link to the download link. You can get in there, get it, do what you want with it. But for me, I'm gonna hit, go ahead and end this video now. So uh, I'll see you guys in a sec on, a, on the next uh, video. All right, you guys, and I'm out.